Perception is the realm of the five senses. Perceptual problems are never real problems, although they can point us back to the one problem of believing in separation. Perception is the realm in which we appear to be in. This was highlighted for me when my sister got married. The day after the wedding, people from different generations were gathered watching TV. It was a comedy special. Because there were so many of them, I couldn't see the TV. All I could see were faces turning red, eyes shifting around, some embarrassment some downright humiliation, and some outright anger and rage. And then, my brother-in-law fell out of his chair and rolled on the floor laughing. They were all watching the same images, and they were all listening to the same sound. Yet they were each seeing something different. They were having such diverse reactions, and they were giving the meaning to those sounds and images. It wasn't the images that were making them laugh and making them rage. It was the beliefs in their minds that they reacted to. A world is going on in our minds. The world of images and the thoughts we're thinking. This is the basis for how we perceive the external world. It's more accurate to think of the eyes as projectors rather than receptors. The eyes are projecting what the mind is thinking and believing. Because of the filter of consciousness or ego, the body senses a world that is part of the projection. So we are just drawing forth witnesses to what we believe and think all the time. We perceive what we believe, and without attack thoughts in our mind, we cannot see a world of attack. That's why the only solution is in the mind.